What's going on guys? Hit Squad here again, back at it with another video. Now, before I get started in this video, I do want to encourage everybody to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help out the channel. Now, I'm really, really excited. We are just a couple hours away from kickoff, guys. Um, you know, I, I I couldn't be more pumped. And just having football back, period, um, has made everything that much better. It's really nice to see the games on the TV now. Uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really, really excited. Now, going into this game, the Giants are underdogs, rightfully so. You can make the argument that the Pittsburgh Steelers had the number one defense last year. When you're able to go 8-8 eight and eight without having a franchise quarterback and a decent, at best, uh, second or third string quarterback and still go 8-8, eight and eight, I think that says a lot about your ownership. I think that says a lot about your coaching staff. And um, Mike Tomlin is a good coach. I got to give credit to that. Um, you look at the defensive side of the ball, they got some dogs. They got a lot of dogs, actually. Just to name a few, you got TJ Watt, who I spoke about in my last video. So y'all should go check that out. Uh, you got Bud Dupree, Devin Bush, who I wanted the Giants to pick up. You got Cam Hayward. You got Minka Fitzpatrick. These are all game changers. These are all individual game changers and are going to pose problems to the New York Giants. Our offensive line is going to be put to the test to see how they handle this. Um, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, Andrew Thomas is going to be fine. He is going to most likely be up against uh, Bud Dupree. But T.J. Watt, who had 14 and a half sacks, eight forced fumbles, 36 QB pressures, all on the right side, is most likely going to go against Cam Fleming. While Cam Fleming is a decent right tackle and most certainly an upgrade from Mike Remmers, there is a reason why he's kind of traveled on teams. Um, good tackles just don't travel on teams like that because they're very hard to find in this league. Um, but like I said, he is an upgrade from Mike Remmers. But this offensive line is going to be put to the test. I think that if we could develop a run game offensively, that'll open the play um, the play action pass. Um, and I think that's that's really the key. Pound the ball with Saquon. Put the ball in his hands as much as you can. Um, open up the pass rush. It's only going to help out Evan Ingram, Darius Slayton. Um, and I think that Evan Ingram, you know, that's a play to look out for. So with that, I want to go into um, plays to really look out for in this game. I got three key players that I'm looking at. I want to see how Daniel Jones is going to do in his second year. I want to see how Saquon Barkley is going to do. And I want to see how players such as Dalvin Tomlinson is going to do. Now, I know Dalvin Tomlinson, you guys are probably just like, what? what? But hear me out. I'll get to that in a little bit. Daniel Jones is going into his second year as QB. He had a good rookie year last year. Um, I understand the fumbling um, you know, was an issue. However, that's a correctable issue. There are other quarterbacks in the league that have fumbling issues. One of them actually resides in our division. <coughs> Carson Wentz. Besides the point. Um you know, I think that's something that he can improve on. He put on some weight. He looks good. You're hearing great things about him in camp uh, that, you know, he's really demanding that huddle. He's, you know, being a leader and trying to establish establish himself as that franchise guy. And I think that we can see that tonight and, um, you know, just in this season period. Now, Saquon Barkley, you know, he was injured last year and still managed to put over a thousand yards behind a horrible offensive line. Um, this offensive line has been improved, or at least we hope. And, um, you know, I think that Saquon Barkley can have an MVP season. I think that if we can ground and pound this ball on the Steelers defense, we have seen in the past teams that ground and pound the ball on the Steelers. Um, usually it ends up in wins. You look at Dallas, just to name a team. Uh, they did that with the Steelers, um, and it, it works. The Steelers have a good pass defense, running uh, run defense not too well. But when you have the best back in the league in Saquon Barkley, um, I think that you know we just give them the ball as much as we can. That'll only help our own, our, our other players like Evan Ingram, Darius Slayton, and because uh, that's going to open the play action pass. Uh, Saquon Barkley is due to have a huge year. He's due to have a huge year. Why not now? Now. I understand that, you know, this is going to be a new scheme. Um, you know, these players haven't really, other than, you know, the padded practices and the scrimmages and training camp, when it's game time, it's completely different. Um, you know, it's completely different. So I'm expecting the team to kind of start off a little bit rough. Like I said, if we lose this game, I'm not too entirely shocked as this is a good team that we're playing against. But I think this will be a good test. If um, the Giants do win it, I think that, you know, we could put the league on notice. Um, you know, this is a good team. This is a good defense. And, um, you know, I just want to see Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones take advantage of that. Now, on the defensive side, I said Dalvin Tomlinson. I am a big Dalvin Tomlinson fan. And I actually want the Giants to bring Dalvin Tomlinson back. 
Um, there's a reason why he was named captain. He's one of the longest tenured uh, giants on this team. Um, he gets you know to the quarterback. He's good in the run game as well. Uh, I think he's one of our more consistent players on defense. And um, you know, obviously, I'm looking at you know Lorenzo Carter, Jabril Peppers as well, but. I want to see Dalvin Tomlinson really take over a game. I think he has the capability to. I think he has the strength to do that. And, um, you know, just going into this game, especially with David DeCastro being out, I'm looking at our interior defensive line to take advantage of that. So why not a player like Dalvin Tomlinson? Why not a player like Leonard Williams or Dexter Lawrence? But I think that Dalvin Tomlinson, I think he's better with his hands um, than Leonard Williams is. That's just when you look at the film, the film speaks for itself. I think that Donald Thomason has better hands. Um, he seems to find a way to get back there quicker. Um, and I'm really excited to see that. When Dave, when a player like David DeCastro, now, before I get, let me, before I finish that sentence, the Pittsburgh Steelers have a good offensive line filled with veterans, a little bit older. A lot of people kind of complain about that. I've seen um, with Steelers, um, YouTubers that speak about the Steelers. I, that's one of the few things I see is people name that offensive line being old, but they have chemistry. They've been consistent. They're still a good offensive line, but David DeCastro is a blow to that offensive line. So I'm looking forward, uh, hopefully to see the New York Giants interior line, take advantage of that. I'm really excited that football back. You guys should be too. Let me know some players you guys are looking at as well. Some honorable mentions, uh, mentions, um, that I had were Lorenzo Carter. I think Lorenzo Carter is primed to have a big year this year. And another player I was looking at was Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram, uh, you know, he's primed to have a good year as well. We picked up his fifth-year option. Historically, tight ends do very well in the Jason Garrett scheme. And, um, you know, I'm really excited to see uh, Evan Ingram. And if he could stay healthy, I think that he could be very uh, valuable on the field to us. His main, his main issue is that he can't stay healthy. Uh, we're not too sure how Darius Slayton is going to play. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. Uh, you know, if he has a rookie slump, you know, it's normal. It happens. But, um, you know, right now, in order for the Giants to make any noise in this division, you know, we have to not beat ourselves, which we have a, his, a history of doing in recent years. We need to really be more disciplined, which ties into not beating ourselves. And, uh, you know, we just need to be a more physical team. I'm, I'm glad seeing, I'm glad to see that Joe Judge is trying to really bring that out with this team and, um, you know, in his culture. I've been begging and begging and begging for this team to be more physical more faster, play more relentless, and uh, hopefully we can see that this year. Anyways, guys, this is Brooklyn Hit Squad. Let me know what you guys think below. What players are you looking out for? How excited are you to have New York Giants football back? We're going to make a video after the game to talk about, you know, things we liked, disliked, obviously who won the game, who lost the game. But let me know what you guys think below. It's Hit Squad. I'll see you all in the next video. Be easy.